It is estimated that 11 million children work from the age of five in Bangladesh, who are therefore trapped in the poverty cycle. In year 2000, Children's Hope started working with disadvantaged children and their families living in urban slums of Dhaka. It started with education of the children and the basic health care of family members. Over the years, with amazing help from its donors, it has expanded its work in nutritional programs, rehabilitation of the dispossessed, life-threatening health conditions and sustainable livelihood program. Fashion peddlers of New Look Retailers Limited sponsored 50 children for free education and health care for all their family members. Sharon Akhtar is one of the sponsored children along with her family. Tell us, how did Children's Hope Intervention help you? Before it was very difficult to send my child to school. Now we get all the help for our child's education. Also, doctor's treatment is very helpful. Now we do not have to worry about purchase of medicines from outside. We get weekly nutritional food for my child. What sort of help do you receive for your child's education? Before we used to worry about school fees. Now we don't have to pay school fees anymore. I also feel less pressure because of that. What do you do for a living? I sell clothes on the street and my wife works in a garment factory. I work in a factory as an operator. Before Children's Hope, it was difficult to pay Sharon's education fee. Now we get help for books, clothes, shoes, school fees. All of this help made life much easier. Tell us, how did you manage before? It was by no means easy, but now we get a lot of help. What sort of help do you get on healthcare? We had to buy medicine before, but now we get it for free. My child also gets egg and milk three times a week. What other help do you get from the doctor apart from medicine? We get regular health checkups and investigation costs, which we do not have to bear anymore. Now that you get help for Sharmin, does this help to bear the cost of education of your other child? I can now afford to send my younger child to school because of the help we get for Sharmin. My name is Sharmin. I am a student of Class A at Pragati School. I get many benefits being a sponsored child. I get one egg and a glass of milk three times a week in addition to full education help. What kind of help do you receive from the Children's Hope Healthcare Programme? We attend medical sessions and sometimes get referred to other places for which we get full expenses. What about education cost? For education, we get expenses for books, clothes, all school fees and other expenses. Education in Bangladesh is not free. The cost of education has been the chief determinant of large dropouts from schools each year. It has been estimated that more than 35% of dropouts from schools each year is a result of parents failing to keep up with increasing school fees and other educational expenses. Children's Hope Education Programme has been very successful and popular since the programme targets bright children to receive sponsorships which provide full education expenses. This includes providing school tuition fees, books, travel and uniform cost. In addition to providing basic educational expenses, there are specialised education services that have also been developed. These are providing coaching to develop IT skills, improving in specific subjects such as English and mathematics, and introducing Children's Hope scholarships for exceptionally bright pupils known as targeted grant. These specialised services will ensure that the potential of all gifted children are given full consideration in order to compete with others. Children's Hope also maintains library facilities in both field offices that specialise in recommended books that are too expensive for students to buy and are widely used by candidates appearing in major exams and have proved to be a valuable resource. Health is a community asset and healthcare has become an integral part of Children's Hope services. In Bangladesh, healthcare is not free and slum dwellers find it extremely difficult to access health checkups and treatments. Access to healthcare has always been an important determinant of health for the poor. 
Children's Hope has introduced round-the-clock access to a medical doctor for health checkups and treatments of sponsored children and their immediate family members. Child death during birth still represents a significant proportion to the overall child mortality in Bangladesh. There are two important factors which contribute to child death at birth. These are traditional home birth delivery without any midwifery assistance and the lack of proper maternal care during pregnancy. Children's Hope introduced a pregnancy scheme to tackle both of these determinants of child death. The scheme provides antenatal care by the Children's Hope doctor which entails regular follow-up during pregnancy including providing adequate nutritional care for the expected mother and perinatal care that ensures safe delivery in a recognised maternity clinic. Already, the scheme has proved to be an invaluable support to many expected mothers. I'm Jalal's mother, Shahnaz. We get all my son's educational needs. He gets nutrition in terms of eggs and milk. We receive so much medical assistance. Whatever we have required, we have received. If we do not receive this help, I do not know where we would have been. During my childbirth, it was very difficult. I had a caesarean section. I could never dream of going to a proper clinic. I do not know how I can thank Children's Hope. We're very poor and I'm only alive with my baby because of this help. I do not know where I would be without it. Children's Hope appointed a full-time doctor as commissioned by Janet Biggs and Jackie Bell Chambers. In addition, Fashion Peddler's generous contributions has supported the setup of the life-threatening scheme and over the years many lives were saved due to the fast-track treatment scheme. An example of the beneficiary of such scheme is the story of Joyna Bibi. I have received a lot of help from Children's Hope. My son's name is Habib. I suffered from a serious illness and I also received a lot of help from Children's Hope. I had cancer. I'd gone to the hospital for treatment and I am better now. I see the doctor every four months now and rely on daily medicines. I do not have many health problems now. What treatment did you have for your cancer? I had 25 radiotherapy sessions. How did you manage the cost of your treatment? Children's Hope provided the full cost of all these therapies. Without the help of Children's Hope, I could not have survived the illness. My name is Muhammad Ismail Fakir. My wife had a serious illness and this was impossible for me to tackle without the help of Children's Hope. All I have is a small room which provides a roof over the head of my family. The full cost of my wife's treatment was paid for by Children's Hope. In addition, my son Habib's education cost was also provided by Children's Hope. My wife had no chance of survival because of her illness if it was not looked into by Children's Hope. My mother had a terrible disease and without the help of Children's Hope it would not have been possible for us to treat her. We are very grateful for that. One day after the completion of my education I will try to contribute to the cause of Children's Hope. Our health profile clearly suggests that many health-related illnesses suffered by sponsored students are associated with poor diet. This has prompted to launch a nutrition programme funded by the fashion peddlers New Look UK. There has been a gradual decline in health complaints by the sponsored children since the introduction of this nutrition scheme. I'm Mahmouda. I'm a student of Children's Hope studying the first year of college. Children's Hope runs a three-day-a-week nutrition programme where we get egg and milk. Before this programme, we had many health issues, but now we have less. We also feel we are doing good in schools due to our improved diet. I would like to thank you all. In addition to sponsoring 25 children by Mackay Stores Limited UK in 2003, the Sustainable Livelihood Project was launched in June 2009, which was commissioned by Ian McGeer of Mackay Stores Limited. The project targets families living with severe hardship and enables them to improve their economic and social condition using a one-off grant of up to 45,000 taka provided by the scheme. 
Usually the grant is used to set up an entrepreneurship and is supervised by the Children's Hope staff. Abdul Malik is the first beneficiary of this scheme. He has a large extended family and is the only bread earner of the family. He brings less than 3,000 taka per month from his corner shop. Recently, his application for a grant of 45,000 taka has been approved. Can you tell us how you plan to use the money? I want to expand my shop by investing this grant money to buy more goods and ultimately make my family a bit better off. Right now we do not have enough goods in my shop. The grant will be very helpful for expansion. At the moment we do not have enough to eat or enough clothes to wear. This grant will make us better off as I have a large family to feed. We have received a lot of help from Children's Hope and for that we are really grateful. Children's Hope expanded its work and started to work in a new slum area known as Corral. It was possible to launch the Corral project mainly because of the contribution made by Louise Kosa of Mackay Store Limited. The following sponsor family are from the Corral project. My name is Sukur Ali. We get a lot of benefits since we are in this scheme. My child receives costs for books and stationery and we get health care for all. We feel we are much better off now. My name is Abida Khatun. I am Sayyida's mother. After my daughter became a sponsor student, we got a lot of benefits including school dress, school fees, as well as healthcare benefits. What do you want Sayyida to be when she's older? We would like Sayyida to become a doctor, if God permits. First, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to Children's Hope. My name is Saida Akta, a student of Class 8 of Banani Model School. I am 13 years old. I am very happy to become a sponsored child of Children's Hope. I now get my school uniform, shoes, books and school fees. We also get healthcare benefits, not only for me, but the entire family. We are really happy now. Respective authorities of the Bangladeshi government has begun a campaign during the month of March 2007 to bulldoze houses and shops in Dhaka district which are regarded as unauthorised properties. This policy has affected 24 families of sponsored children whose homes and shops have been destroyed as a result. In response to the displaced family situation, Mackay Stores Limited UK have raised a significant amount of money to relocate and help these families. Financial help from the Mackays has led to the launch of a rehabilitation programme which involves increasing household income of families through income generation projects so that they can move to more affordable homes. One example of income generation projects that has led to the successful rehabilitation of a family can be seen from the story of Mr. Hussain, who has set up a profitable locksmith trade. I am Anwar Hussain. My shop was there near the boundary wall which can be seen. That actually belonged to the army and they came to take over a couple of years ago. When they bulldozed everything down, I was on the street. To begin with, we received a thousand taka per month and I tried all that I could do to make a living by doing bits and pieces. Then I received this incredible help when I was able to get this shop which changed my life. I must admit that I am okay at the moment. How am I to thank for this? And after 